We have lots of really good people. We're a very philanthropic community. Uh, but you can't really pinpoint anybody who's had the impact that the Goodriches, Mike and Gillian, have had in the last 10 years. We have received so much from Birmingham. Uh, we grew a business here. Um, our family grew up here. And so it, the city of Birmingham, the state of Alabama, has really meant a lot to our family. And we're just pleased to be able to give back. And I know Gillian's parents were, were the same. You may want to. Well, yeah, I think, I, think, yeah. Um, I think both of our families, that was a big deal, you know. You're obligated to do for those who blessed your life. Well, I just think the example they set of their life living day to day and us watching them do what they said they were going to do over and over for so for so many decades has been inspiring to me. Yeah, I mean, I think charitable work was a routine in our household. Our oldest is in ninth grade, and we're trying to Elizabeth and I are trying to instill that value and and, and say this is what your this is what your grandparents are doing when they. Um, when they moved past B &K, uh, they, uh, and K, and, and they gave back. And you need to know that's a very important part of the Goodrich family story is you, you, you give back. That's part of it. I think they're selfless. And I think it's not just what they spend, it's their time that they spend. Through the foundation, you know, we focus on arts and culture, um, neighborhoods, education, environment and positioning strategic assets uh, within the community, which is a pretty broad focus area. Our foundation that mom and dad set up meet quarterly. Uh, we are helped by some great people and we try to uh, get the grants that have the most impact in those areas and move the ball forward for the city of Birmingham. We all have our things. I think the initial, the um, Woodlawn revitalization in something near and dear to mom and dad's heart. The kind of main thing is to make the city of Birmingham a better place. To, to me, I think arts gives um, people who don't have a voice a voice um, and a way to express that voice artistically is, is generally how some of the most profound art is created. And so that's why uh, I like to see art made in Woodlawn. I think the arts are part of the fabric of the community and they, they, they bring people together, they, they allow people to in, enjoy things that, that in, are not every, not part of their every, everyday life. So we, we, we're very supportive of the arts as well. And, and just that creative um, insight into the community to keep the, it, so many schools don't have the arts anymore, they've had to cut because of funding issues, um, having something that lifts up the creative side of the human spirit is so essential to our progress and, and our future. And when it's being forgotten everywhere, it's nice to have that in Birmingham. And when you look at a child, regardless of where they're from or what their opportunity sets are, they have the ability to really do well. And if you can interest that child and stimulate that child, with good teachers, with culture, with the arts. It broadens the way they look at things, it broadens how they think of things. They can, they can learn and compete at the same level as the most privileged children in this community. And I think what Alice Stevenson is doing with teaching words and how they teach words and how it's tied to arts and culture, there is a thousands of word gap in some of the let's say less privileged schools in Birmingham as compared to other more privileged schools in Birmingham. And those kids never catch up. And what Alice Stevens Center is doing to stimulate that and teach them those words and teach them in a way that they enjoy where they don't associate school with a the burden, they associate school with, with joy, which is how people learn, then it gives them an opportunity that, that uh, they never have otherwise. The Alice Stevens Center and everything they do with art reach and art play, it's just been huge. About, I think a year ago, visited Woodlawn where they were having a ballet class and a drumming class and to see the looks on children's eyes that are exposed to the arts for the first time would never ever uh, have that opportunity. Um, 
anywhere else was just wonderful to witness. And that's just a small part of everything that UAB does. Mom and Dad, we love you. Thanks for all you do and congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. We love you. Love you. <laughs>